Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome to your reading for the month of July. So July is a long enough month that it's a uh, one, two, three, four, and to the next Wednesday. So yeah, it's a long enough month in July. Um, almost five weeks, not quite, short a few days, but um, let's take a look at what the energies are going to be for the month of July. So have the map of the enchanted, enchanted map oracle cards. <laughs> Into the unknown. Well, that's kind of like, you know, it's not the best card we could have started with. Sacred pool. Making choice. Okay, we'll we'll play. We'll take one more. Yeah. Okay. So it's pretty standard. I'm gonna tell you, it's pretty standard. Okay. I think you start off with choices and you're ending with choices. So that's pretty good. Let's see here. We can move this out of the way so that it's not getting in your card view. Okay, so the sacred pool for me when I see, I see somebody kind of laying there with their eyes closed, conferring with whatever. Okay, same thing here. Uh, the eyes are closed, they're blinded. Um, I feel that you may start off the month with needing to make a choice and not knowing what to do, but then conferring, almost like going inside of yourself and, and doing a little bit of meditation, a little bit of self-reflection, that kind of stuff. Near the end of the month, it's like a creative idea comes from this, okay, the 3, the 30, you're making a choice, and then you have the 7, the spark. Um, I feel that because you start with the 7, you end with the 7, it's one of those choices is going to spark something in you to begin. Um, so it's a good progression to the month. Uh, frustration? I don't know if it's frustration. I'm not feeling frustration. I'm feeling more of a progression of something that you are doing. You are asking a question. You're getting insight. You're making a choice. You're following the spark. I feel like a, it's an easy kind of progression. I don't feel that it's that hard. I feel that it's going to come to you quite easily. I think that you're just going to go, it's, I, I, all I hear is one step in front of the other. One step in front of the other. Just kind of, you know, just doing. Doing what's going on, what's happening. Okay? So, it's very good. I mean, I like it. It's It works. It works for me very much. So let's um, let's pull some cards for Into the Unknown. Okay, let's, uh, let's pull some cards for Into the Unknown. What are we doing here? Hmm. Yeah, it's in regards to something, an idea of some sort, something that... I feel that it's something that maybe you've been holding on to for a while, but you really, like... You really want to plant it. You really want to do something with it at this point. You know, I'm ready to do something with this. Yeah. It's an inspired idea. Okay. Because I feel both of these. I feel like the Page of Cups is saying that it's an inspired idea. Right? The Page of Cups here is going like... You know, this is something that you've had your your inspiration on for a bit. And I, I think you're just at an impasse where you just, you know, you're um, working out the blocks. You're working out, you're trying to balance it out to make it happen somehow. Not sure how, but you're feeling it. Like, I, I really want to do it. Uh, sacred pool, let's use this one for the coven. Yeah, let's use this one.
you have a seed of an idea, but you're trying to imagine how to bring it to life, right? You're trying to imagine, how am I going to do this? And then there's a sacred pool. Let's see what the sacred pool, sacred pool comes down to 11. So 11 comes down to 2, which is the high priestess, which makes a lot of, a lot of, uh, yeah. This actually came in this way, so I'm going to put it that way. The Knight of Swords, the speed isn't there, that's for sure. Okay? But the blessings are. So as much as you're not speeding across the countryside to make this happen, you are feeling very blessed in whatever this is. You feel blessed to even have the idea, to just kind of... And, and you know it's a good one. Like, in other words, it's worth contemplating. It's worth looking at, I feel, is what you're, you're feeling right now. It's like it's worth contemplating. Making a choice. All right. So is it door A or door B? What are we doing? What are we doing here? Okay. I feel that's still kind of showing the two, right? The Ten of Pentacles and a Judgment. Okay. Yeah. It's accountable for your decisions. I love that there's one, two, three, and that's... See, there's 20 and 10, 30. Do, do you get it? 20, 10, 30. Yeah, I love it when they do that. So, um, this is something that's going to bring you great abundance. You, you feel it. Whether it's door one or door two, you feel it. Um, but I feel that what you're doing is you're actually reviewing. This is this is what you've been doing. This is. I feel that July is basically really saying a lot of that. I'm going to review what's here. I'm going to change it, release what doesn't work. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to awaken. I'm going to renew. I'm going to transition. So I feel that you're just, I, I do feel like this is like taking flight. You see? This one feels like, oh, we're going to, ta-da, we're going to get to it. You've done the work. You figured out what you want to do. And then you're going to do it. Okay? I love that. Because this is resolving issues as well. And I feel that this is a definite. This is this is the important part. This is the highlighted part. This is when somebody says to me, um, am I going to get it? This, right here. This is it. This is when you get it. This is the haha. -ha, this is the eureka. Whatever it is, this is it. Okay? So we're going to look at the spark. Let's see what comes in with the spark. Okay, hold on. All right. All right, we're getting there. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Princess of Swords. I've got to see. This This has been coming out, right? Okay. The Lovers is in reverse. So, I'm going to tell you this, okay? Um, you're getting there. No problem. Okay? But you have to balance yourself out. Um, as you guys know, Princess of Swords, Page of Swords is the is the fly in the soup for me. It's always the fly in the soup. So as long as you are committing to your well-being, this is not going to be a problem. If you do not and you let your mind take over, not your heart, not what feels good, what not feels right, not what you worked at here to get through, you're going to be back in the same pickle, the same pickle jar <laughs> before. Okay, you're going to be telling yourself, eh, I don't know what, you know, what's going to happen, why, 
Is it happening? You know, why did I pick this? What? And this is the other part of the seven to the seven, okay? Seven are contemplation cards. The seven of wands is, you know, persevering and keep on going. Um, the seven of pentacles is assessment. The seven of swords is like safeguarding yourself and, and, and from undermining and all of that. The seven of cups is all about decision. So it's making choices. You have a great big um, opportunity to move forward. But for most of you, you're going to begin the month and end it in the same way, asking questions. And I think that's the important part here. Um, I feel that you're falling back into the same thing. And I think that's the important part here. Keep your balance about you. If you keep your balance about you, this can go to the next phase instead of falling back into the, I don't know, right? I don't know what do I do to I don't know what do I do. Um, I've, I'd rather you focus on this than that. Absolutely. Okay. Focus on the six of pentacles, which is the give and take, the balancing out, not the seven. Okay. Don't repeat the cycle. It's just, I just feel like you're repeating cycles. You're repeating the month. Nobody wants to begin and end the month exactly in the same spot that you were in. You want to finish. You want to start asking a question. You want to finish with an answer. And I feel that that's what July is saying. Look, start with a question, get the answer, and then move on. Okay? If it's a totally different question, that's okay. Okay? Because we're always going to have questions in life. That, that makes sense. But if not, please, please, please don't get caught in the web of, you know, of repeat. Let's not repeat over and over. Okay, so I'm going to pull some cards from Spirit. I'm going to take another, a different deck. I'm going to take the, the feminine deck because I feel like there's introspection here. Um, this is the Neotheric Feminine deck. And I'm going to, I'm going to see what it has to say, what, what Spirit has to say. Or advice it might give you for your month of July, okay? It's always good to get advice. Why not, right? Give me some advice. What else can I do? Oh, yeah. And I feel like it's the second time that I kind of drop part of the deck. Like it just kind of falls out. So it's the middle falls out. Um, and that seems to feel like a, a message, okay? Magician. Okay, so I keep repeating this this week, and I'm going to keep repeating it because I feel that it's needed. You've always had the power, my dear. You just had to learn it for yourself, the Wizard of Oz. I feel that Spirit has keep repeating that you keep disempowering yourself. And they desperately want you to empower yourself. As I said, you don't want to be repeating the same months, and I don't want to repeat the same reading over saying the same thing. Even though I do many of the times. Um, I think I don't want to do one month after the next saying the same exact thing. That's too much time in the same space, in the same energy. Okay? You have the power. Apply the power to your goals. Turn your wishes into reality. Put intention and will and resourcefulness into action to make your wishes come true. Okay? You can do it. Stop disempowering yourself. Through the whole thing in Wizard of Oz, she thought she had to go outside of herself. And it made sense. It looked right. We followed the story. We're going, yeah, right. She's got to go see the wizard. Yeah, of course. The wizard's got all the power. Of course. Of course we have to go see the wizard. We bought into it, right? And then finally at the end, she's always had the power. I have to say, there's no place like home. Just click your heels three times, you're home. There you go. You're the one who sends yourself back. You don't need anything else. And it's like, oh, oh, oh. Okay? But we believed it. We believed it right up to the end. Okay? We give our power away. Don't need to. Don't need to give our power away. We have it. We have the tools. We have the necessity. We have everything we need. Okay. So let's see here.
Transformation. Lead to transformation. Absolutely. I like that. Death card. I haven't seen it in a while, but I've, I felt it here with this here. I felt it this. Okay? You have true potential for transformation this month. Take the lead in it. Take the lead in your transformation. Just go forward into it. Don't be afraid of it. Don't let things stop you in the middle of it. Let the endings happen. Let the beginnings begin. Let profound change touch you. Okay? Let yourself be reborn. Let yourself be renewed. Okay? Let yourself be regenerated. There's that judgment card. Okay? This is not this is not a test. <laughs> This is not a test. This is this is your time to shine. Okay? You're not doing the trial run over and over. It's time to do it. It's time to, to rise. It's time to awaken. It's time to go. Three major arcanas from Spirit. Okay? They mean business. You know, for some of you, I'm even going to say that this could be it. Like, this could be the thing that launches you into the next phase of whatever you're doing in your life. If you grab the opportunity and work on it now. Okay? July could be your best month yet. If you take it. Right, Six of Wands. You may have, you may have success and victory if you grab on to the opportunity. Okay? This is also about being a role model. So this is somebody who had the guts to do it. Okay? Sometimes they think a lot about themselves as well. But that's because they believe in what they're doing. Okay? That's why they say with the Six of Wands, uh, be proud, but don't be conceited. You know, like, don't think too much of yourself. But somebody who generally believes in themselves and really puts a lot of effort into something and believes in what they're doing, will be a very self-confident individual. If you grab the confidence to be a leader in your life and lead the change, you can make this really cool for yourself. You can look back and go, I did that. And yeah, it might be a little bit of full of yourself moments, but who cares? You will probably deserve that kudos to you. You did it. You had the courage. Okay? So, July, you have choices to make. You have things to ponder. And then you really do have choices to make. What do I choose? What do I do? Do I just go back to the beginning and it's almost like tuck tail and go, I almost did it and then no. Or, let's do this. The choice is yours. Really, the choice is yours. Now, the question I hear from a lot of people, yeah, but how do I know if I'm making the right choice? How do you know it's not your brain just afraid? Afraid to begin something that might completely change your life. Maybe it's just your brain afraid to live. Try something new. Change is hard. Those are the things that you have to ponder. Is there an actual threat? 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 Sorry, I'm, I'm French. I have a hard time with that word. An actual threat. There you go. Or is it something that you have put up in fear? of, ooh, what if it goes wrong? Is it a what if or is it an actuality? Is it a preconceived or not preconceived, but a, a I don't know, a made up thing in your brain? You know, a what if? And then you play it out if that what if would happen? What is the actual 
possibilities of that happening? What is the percentage of that happening? And if it does happen, what, what would that mean? Would it mean your end, your total failure? What would it mean? Would it be that bad? Could you pick up the pieces and keep going? Could you turn that, that experiment into something that would work? These are all the questions you're going to have to ask yourself. These are all the things that come in. If you ask that person to go out to coffee and let them get to know you, could it turn out into something? If it doesn't, is that that bad? That you're not investing in somebody who will never invest in you? What if they do? What if they actually like you? What if they turn out to be your very best friend in life? What if they turn out to be the person you marry? What, what ifs? Are the what ifs scarier than actually living in regret for not doing? That would be the other part. Do you think at some point in your life you're going to look back and say, maybe I should have done that? I have a few of those. I do. I know everything happens for a reason. One of the reasons is to tell you. Right? One of the reasons is to talk about it to you. Of course I have a few. And I try to look at that sometimes when I'm afraid of things. I try to go, is this a what if? Is this another moment of me being completely afraid? Let's see, right? So, there you go, my beautiful Pisces. This has been your July reading, July 2024. You have a lot to ponder, a lot to think on. Please show me your colors. Please show me, Dorothy, that you figured out that you've always had the power. Click those eels three times. Bring yourself back to Kansas. Or hell, stay in Oz if you want to. It was a lot more colorful. But know that whatever this, what you decide is your decision, right? You didn't chicken out. You didn't say, wait, 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 it's going too fast, I don't want to go there. You have the power, you have the courage, you have the will. We're in the year of courage. Live your dreams. Enjoy your life. Taste the food. Invest in relationships. Figure out your passions. Turn your passions into your life's work. Take the steps towards your inspired life. How's that? All right, so that's it, my beautiful Pisces, for July. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you um, at another reading for sure. Take care. Bye for now.